Welcome back to the Evergreen series where I'm road tripping across Washington to play some of the best courses in the Pacific Northwest. After starting the trip at Chambers Bay, we headed north to another major championship venue at Sahali Country Club. Mr. Nicholson, thanks for having us out here. Absolutely, Luke. Yeah, Our is... pleasure. Welcome to Sahali Country Club. Sahali actually means uh, high heavenly ground in the Chinook language. Okay. If you kind of take a look around this place, it's pretty special. Yeah, this is really cool. I mean, I'm, I told the camera before, I love these tall trees. So getting a real treat out here. You guys can see on this first hole how tight it is. And if it's anything like this for the rest of the round, I might early call it and say this might be the tightest course I've ever played. Well, there's a reason why we're called Sahal Way. Yeah. And uh, during the 98 PGA Championship, Justin Leonard was quoted as saying, you have to walk single file down some of these fairways. And I think you're gonna get a chance to see exactly why he said that. I love it. Let's, let's get onto it. As you can already tell, this is a tough, tree-lined golf course with very firm and very fast greens. So it seems like a perfect place to do a little break 65 challenge. Let's get right into it. All right, first hole here, we got a little bunker on the left side. We were told most people don't go with driver here, which I'm kind of, I'm happy about because looking at this fairway, I'm just, I can't, I can't work anything. It's just like, it tells you to hit a dead straight and that's all you can hit. So I'm going to go with a three iron, hit it just short of that left bunker. Oh yeah. Oh, somehow I get through the tree. We'll see. Tough start. <laughs> He's one for one. As you can see, it's pretty narrow. Just try to hit three iron that doesn't hit any trees. That's the goal. All right, I, I don't even know what happened. I, I, you guys might have seen it in the camera, but I hit the trees. I clearly hit the trees. And I'm in the fairway somehow. Got some good luck already. But we got 194 adjusted, and I'm just gonna take a guess and say that these greens are firm. So I'm gonna go with like a, maybe take like five yards off a seven iron. A little bit downwind, so. You got a number? Looks nice. Well, we thought we'd hit the fairway, but as is gonna happen a lot today, I find myself a little bit behind a tree. I have 172, just gonna hit an eight iron. It's a little downwind. Just try to hit it hard and make sure it cuts and hopefully it's on the green. That was a little worse lie than I had anticipated it being. <laughs> um, not my best effort here. Just gonna try to get it up and down. I mean, these fairways are so perfect. The greens are perfect, so no excuses not to be a good one. No. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad for me. All right, got to the green here. It should be a pretty big right to left swinger. Also, shout out to our boy Devin. He's our caddy and he's also helping us out with the green cam angles. He's got it dialed in right here. You won't? Birdie from the trees? Okay. That, <laughs> that would have been a steal. <laughs> Be a long day. <laughs> All right, got a little left here for par. Um, I mean, the greens are perfect. There's no excuses not to make this one. Yep, scramble stats. That's right. Scramble. Exactly. One, one out of one. I'm just happy to be tied with Quan after one hole. I'm normally down already, so. We got a dog leg right to left here, and I want to like aim it down these trees right, right off the tee box, but I can't. This is what I'm saying, like off the first hole, like you don't really have an option, I feel like. Just calls for like a little baby draw, and that's what you're gonna have to hit. I mean, I guess you can go club down, but it's par five, so. A little more, a little more. Okay. I mean, it hit that kind of weird, so maybe it didn't get all the way through. All right, not the greatest fade hole here, but uh, we're just gonna kind of aim at that left corner, kind of like Devin was telling us, and uh, hopefully hit it straight or maybe just leak it a touch to the right, kind of towards Quans. Perfect, love it. All right, found a fairway. I was actually in this little uh, sprinkler head, but we found the fairway. Um, 202 adjusted. I think we got some downwind, which 
I would say it's a six iron pretty much every time, but there's a pawn just short of the flag. The flag's in the front. I mean, I'm almost thinking just hitting the soft five, but then these greens are firm, so. Just gonna have to roast the six. I have to hit this good. Oh, stay right there. Stay, sit. Well, I told myself the miss is left, if anything. It's still kind of short-sided, but we'll, we'll have to try to figure it out from there. All right, we got 188 down to 182. I feel like it's a perfect seven iron for me. Big ball first. Oh, that's good. That's a big ball at the same time as the little ball, which you can get away with. There you go. <laughs> Only thing I can say right now is that we're not in the water. So we're on the correct side. It's just the flag doesn't really leave me a whole lot of room to be in my ear. I've got to land this. I mean, I don't even mind it if it lands on the fringe, honestly. hundred dollar hole up. Landed a little bit further than I wanted, but it's all right. We still got what? Like an eight, nine footer from a par? For my birdie, what is wrong with me? All right, so the expert said it, so there's no excuses. Uh, he said it's gonna just barely move off to my right a little bit, so I'm gonna play just outside that left edge and hope we can get a big bird on the second hole here. Oh, big bird to start. That was a good catch by the first baseman. <laughs> Got to try to make a birdie here, make this putt, try to stay just one back. Should be a little right to left. Oh, oh how pure are these greens? I love this. We're rolling so nice out here. Hey. We're feeling good. I just made eagle on two. Um, it's a shit left to right shape. I'm gonna bang the dog. He did fade. I don't know. Is that enough? I feel like that's pretty good. I'm gonna say that is enough. I, yeah. I don't know though. All right. Well, I was gonna go three three wood, but if that line's good, then I should be able to hit this thing. Hit a driver just a little bit right. More that way. Need more than one yard. Uh, might be in the rough, but I don't know. We'll see. The greens are really firm, so you really it really puts a premium on hitting in the fairway here. Want as much control as you can get. All right. Well, my ball is touching someone else's ball. Almost. I don't know who that is. I'm assuming that's someone on on that hole. But we got 120 adjusted. Uh, pins in the front. Obviously coming out the rough. It's kind of a tree in the way. I'm kind of. I'm, I wanted to try to land this ball like short of the green, let it bounce up. But I am not sure if that ball is gonna clip that tree on the way down. That's the only play I got. So I'm gonna go with like a pitching wedge, hit it like one. No, I'm gonna go with gap wedge, hit it like one ten, pretty much, just short of the green, let it bounce up. Yeah, let it bounce up, my. Ass. Come back. Come back. Come back, keep coming back. That wasn't even what I was trying to do, but <laughs> I'll take it. Bro, that's just freaking flu. All right, we got about 108. Our guy Devin said leave it short of the flag, so we're just gonna try to hit it. Yeah, maybe a couple off that, like 105. Not bad, not bad. Not my best, definitely not my worst, so. No. Perfect, yeah, just inside that left edge. All right, he gave me a great read on the last one, so no reason to uh, stop listening to him now. It's the caddy master, so we got the best guy out here. I hit it too <laughs> firm. I hit it too firm oh for that look, line. Look at that trickle speed. I know, these things are quick, man, they're good. All right, here we go, I got a little downhill. I think it's going a little bit right yeah. out of my feet. And I think it might want to try to turn back left. I don't know if it will though. It's very subtle on this putt. It does, it does. I'm not gonna lie, after I hit that putt, I was like, I feel like I left that short. It was still <laughs> past the hole. But I was too tentative on that. Yeah, that little hill there just kind of bumps it. Yeah, I started does. mine too far left and hit it too firm. Yeah. There, boy. Thank God, you. these greens are pure. They really are so good. They're rolling so nice out here. Dude, honestly, I'm kind of 
Do they get a whole lot faster than this? Like in tournaments? They, they had them faster last week for the men's member guests. Oh, they they were at like a 13. Yeah, but, I was gonna uh, say, I'm, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I wish I could play this course in like a tournament setting where it's just even faster and firmer than this. This is pretty cool. All right, a hole four here on the south course at Sahali. Uh, I think this is a good time to hit driver. Don't oh, you? Oh, we're doing that right now? Yeah, might All as right. well. All right. College coach would probably kill you if you pulled driver on this hole. Yeah. But let's do it. Holy, is that good or what? Is that gonna be too far right, maybe? Maybe, I feel like I hit that pretty nice no, I mean, I, that's pretty good. Well, what a hole to have a uh, mandatory driver. I will say the only, um, the only good thing about this is that it's a fade hole, so it's not too much work going on to this. Just really tight target. A little bit. How do you put the tree? Yeah, it could be not terrible. I, I think it clipped the tree and came back in the fairway again. I don't know, I don't want to jinx it. I'll, I'll believe when I see it. I just needed a little bit more fade. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not screwed. I do have, I guess, kind of a window. I just go a little bit right of the, the flag, 100 yards adjusted. Probably gonna go with a 55 degree, and if it lands like 90, that should be money. I just, I cannot get too cute with that tree. I mean, I wanna like try to draw a wedge, but I feel like that doesn't even make any sense, drawing a wedge. Can't really move it that much out of the rough. Settle, settle. Oh boy. I feel like I barely hit that. That looks like it's gonna be no fun. We got 84 to the pin. Um, I had a 60. Gosh, I really don't know if I like that. I'm actually gonna drop it a little bit. Okay, we're back. Now I have a 55 degree wedge. It's not that I was concerned, I just didn't really like a full 60 off of this lie. So we're gonna kind of try to land it short of the shelf and hopefully get one big skip up there. Oh my, how good is this guy? Very rarely do you do exactly what you wanna do. Thankfully, that was one of those times. So you guys might have seen on Sean's shot, there's a bit of a ridge that Sean's ball actually just got just above. I don't know if you can see that coin. Basically just past the flag shadow, a little bit past that is like the ridge. And after that, it's, it's gonzo. So coming out of the rough, there's a big a bit of a fluff right here. I mean, I'm just gonna have to assume it comes out dead. And if it doesn't, it's going down that hill. Gotta get cute with this front fringe here. Did come out soft. I mean, it sounds silly to say, but I would rather do that on this hole than, than the opposite. Let's try to get this up and down here. Would have been a hundred dollar hole out. All right, hundred dollar hole out. Use my wedge. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see yeah. a whole lot. I think beautiful. Hit it, hit it nice and firm. Awesome. All right, you heard the man. Should just be moving a touch off to my right. Really love the way I hit that wedge shot. So now we got to kind of convert. I got 189 here on the fifth hole on the south course, playing dead into the fan. Looks like right is not as good as left, so we're gonna try to keep it a little bit left, but it's playing probably every bit of 200 almost. I got a solid five iron. Me too. Dude, this is not your best. Catch piece? Oh. Over it. I feel like we might not be into the wind. Because if you think about it, we were downwind on the par five too. I just checked, this is west. The wind's supposed to be this way. Oh, it is I mean, it's, really it's supposed to be a little into, yeah, just quartering. Trying to find excuses for why I just hit a terrible shot. I don't know and how, you're just debunking them. I just don't know how that went so far. All right, let's just uh, let's try not to be phased by that. I still think it's into the wind here. There's no way it's a six iron from 188 into the wind. I'm gonna go with the five. Maybe take like a hair off. Settle. <laughs> it's firm, firm, dude. Doesn't even think about stopping. Good swing, though. Yeah, I hit a, put a good swing on it. <sighs> All right, well, we learned our lesson. Here we are. We have a pretty tough chip, honestly. We're kind of landing it. 
we really got to be pretty precise with where we land this. It's a huge left to right slope with some facing me and some on the backside, so you just got to land at the perfect spot. Let's see if we can do that. I mean, there's just not a lot of options from there. I could have gone high, I guess, but it just didn't seem as high percentage. Felt like I could have ended up like here. Yeah, I get But I can make that putt. I am pretty happy I hit the green here. This is, uh, Sean was in kind of a tough spot there. Right to left, downhill for my putt. A lot of feel on this, but I'm not gonna line the ball up. So just kind of feel it down in there. Hopefully, hopefully finds the hole. There you go. I thought it was going to straighten out. Hey, good par. I'll take the par on this hole any day. We got our 15 foot par putt. Just took our medicine. Sometimes that's what you got to do instead of going for the hero shot. I know you guys see Luke hit the hero shot all the time, but not quite as talented as Luke, so. Oh my day. Wow, what an up and down. The greens are just so good. Solid. that you just feel so confident. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Man, just gotta keep going, bro. All right, hole six here at the South Course. Uh, I still have the honors. Quan's being really nice to me. Part five. Part five. Opportunity for another eagle. Yeah. There was, I mean, a pretty generous 23 yards wide, so. I think we're, yeah, we're, we're hitting it. It's pretty narrow, but short of it, I think where you're supposed to go is probably pretty wide. That's true. All right, I like that optimism. You're a freaking point and shoot today. That is perfect. There's some days that are like that, and fortunately enough, so far, it's been like that. So, center? Gotta keep it going though. We're only three under. There's a long way to go. All right, center stripe by Sean. Let's try to just follow it and do the same thing. Mm. Monkey see, monkey do. Basically, same thing as yours. Some pretty good ones there. Yep. I feel like this hole, compared to the rest of the holes that we've been playing, just looks wide open. Even though it's not really, it just visually looks way more open. <laughs> I don't feel so claustrophobic in this hole. We got uh, 200 adjusted. I know the last hole tricked us. I don't know, maybe it's one of those fool me once, shame on me, but... Wait, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna say it's downwind. 199, sorry, 200 downwind. I'm gonna go with the... Uh, maybe take off a little bit on a 6 iron. I don't think it's quite enough for a 7. It looks like it's in the front. Get a little left. Okay. We're on the green. We're probably on the back side, if I were to guess, but I sneaky thought I was going to be really good. Tough tee ball. Happy to just be here in the fairway in the short grass. 192 up to 196. I think it's a perfect six iron. So we got to try to get another big bird here on a par five. Man, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I hate missing left, but we got a chance at an up and down, I think. So, not the best six center I've ever hit in my life, but we're actually in a pretty decent spot here. A little under this tree, but it shouldn't come into play. We're thinking $100 hole outs. That's what we're thinking here. Ah, it's just not my best effort there again. It's got a lot of grass, and kind of when you get that, you know you got a little grass in between the ball and the face. But I like the way I'm putting, so gotta go make it. All right, Shaler. Uh, I literally had no idea that we even had even a small backstop here. Thought my ball was gonna be humming. First time playing here, obviously. My putt's gonna be moving right to left, a good amount. I think it's gonna be kind of quick too, so I gotta show some respect on this putt. Curl. Curl! Uh-oh. I wanted it to curl so that the ball automatically stops rolling because I knew it was coming in hot. Mm. Goodness, sure. these greens. Yes, How pure are these? So They're so good. Sean is also just rolling it. I am rolling it. That is nice. But man, when you got good greens, it's so fun to putt. All right. Got my little cleanup action for a bird, hopefully. A little left to right. Just saw Sean. So I think it's like inside, inside left. Good catch there, hole. <laughs> All right, so that's a uh, bird for me. Finally get it to red numbers. One under for me. Four under for Sean. He's uh, kind of run away for a little bit. 
Gotta try to make up some ground. If you're serious about trying to get your golf game to the next level and you're enjoying these kind of videos when I'm talking through my shots and all the deep details, honestly, I'm not really going through all that much of the details. I actually go into a lot more detail in my course management program. And honestly, if you think course management is all about just hitting irons off the tee box, <laughs> That is not even close to what course management is. In my course management program, it's almost as if I'm just right there on the course next to you and I'm going through every little detail that I'm thinking of. Not only the shot that I'm hitting, but different shots, different scenarios. Here's a little sneak peek of what you'll find in the course management program right here. The shot was downwind, 143 flag, raw yardage, and I said I was gonna try to land this thing around 135-ish. It sounds like it's quite a bit short of the flag, so why did it make sense for me to hit a 130 shot for a 143 raw yardage flag number? If you guys are interested, I actually have a free version. It's not the real version, but the free version is linked in the top right corner. Click the I in the top right corner, or it'll be linked in the description. If you guys want help with your golf swing as well, I have a program linked in the description also. All right, hole seven on the south course. We got a pretty straight-ish par four. It kind of like, I think it kind of narrows up on that left side. So I'm just kind of looking at that tree on the left and just trying to cut it. I mean, how lucky have I been getting with these bounces? Did it bounce back in the fairway? I don't know if it's in the fairway, but it, it went bounced left. Did. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, all right. I think I'm probably in the rough if I were to guess, but it deserves to be a lot worse than that. <laughs> in this life, if we all got what we deserved, then it would be a tough life. Um, anyway. Not my best, but we live to fight another day. I don't know what I've done for these trees. Maybe it's because I say I love trees so much, but I just keep getting kicked out into nice spots. Like this isn't even that much rough, honestly. I feel like it's gonna come out like in the fairway. Don't even have to worry about it. Got 164 adjusted. Wind should be into off the right. And that flag's kind of in that like small little front area. I think I'm gonna go like take a hair off an eight iron. No, 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 no. Maybe stay short. Wow, Yeah. that's plenty short. I'm honestly not mad about it though. Shot was terrible, but I'm in a decent spot, I think. I have some greed to work with. All right, I got 126 yards adjusted. Pretty tough lie. What I've noticed about Sahali here is that they mow the rough. They almost mow it back into you. So it's not that thick, but the grain, you're always into the grain. So it makes these shots out of the rough tougher. But anyway, 126, we're gonna try to land it a little bit short and hope it kind of bounced up. Holy knuckler. Dude, seriously. They left. Falling out of the sky. The fringe kind of killed it. It did, thankfully. But it's like, what are you supposed to do from there? This end of the grain's brutal, man. It had no spin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ball looks like it's kind of sitting in like the fairway-ish area. So I can get some spin on it, which is good. Which is good, we like that. We like spin. Not that I can put a whole lot of spin on it. You guys should see Brad do it. But just landing it just on the green should pop a little bit to the right. Hopefully snuggle in there for an easy par. Settle. Okay. Oh, I just came out a little lower than I wanted. I was trying to get that ball higher. It's all right. Just a little bit too much heat. Let's try to make that, I don't know, seven footer for par. Honestly, pretty happy with that second shot. It's just a tough lie. Um, we got a pretty quick putt down the hill though. I mean, Sahali out here, you just don't want to get above the hole. So, but when you do, you just kind of got to be a little cautious. I'll try to go right. Sean's putt kind of confused me. I, it's just a very, it's a very subtle putt. I think it barely goes left to right. Like it's, it's almost dead straight. I think I pulled it. I think I pulled it. Oh man. Right when you make a birdie, you make a bogey. That's just not what you want to see. Unfortunately, back to even par for me. It's a good, good solid two putt out of the deep rough over there for Sean. Let's see what the next hole is. I think the next hole is pretty tight. So it might be a sneaky mandatory driver for me. All right, hole eight on the uh, south course here. This is a dog to the right. Again, I said mandatory, I'm gonna use my mandatory driver on this nine. So, I don't know, it looks like we have to go pretty far right. Um, I'm looking like basically a little bit right of one of these tr V's in the tree. I don't know, it's a tight, it's a tight target anyways. We gotta just hit a good one, see what Sean does. Oh no, the dreaded straight ball. Oh. Oh. 
I thought you had to take it way more. I thought that. we did too. Whoa, Whoa we sneaky. got lucky. Is that a sneaky fairway? Yeah, that is in the fairway, I think. Woo! All right, well, that kind of opened things up a little bit. So Sean's basically the far left line. Just go a little bit right of his, and it should be solid. That V in the tree is exactly the right target. I don't know, I've hit a bunch of trees and they've all been nice to me. I say that, I'm gonna jinx myself right here. Big old cutter, maybe like a five? I feel like five's too much. Shaler, you might as well put me in handcuffs right now. <laughs> Look at what I'm looking at right now. It's just, uh, I'm in a jail cell. <laughs> I mean, I do have a shot, but I have to freaking bend this thing hard. And if I'm not bending it, I just basically migrate to another jail cell. So, uh, yeah, it seems really smart. Let's do it. I'm in the rock at least. I'm not Ooh. in another jail cell. Dang it! I wanted to hit a sick shot there. All right, Shea Butter, we got 146 to 150. I'm just looking to hit a good shot here. Uh, we're in about as position A as you can get on this hole. This eighth hole is tough. That looks pretty saucy right there. I feel like I feel good about that one. We'll see. Oh man, well, obviously that wasn't that smart of a shot, but hey, we're, we're it's a holly, we're, we're playing for fun. Let the man have some fun out here, right? Got 144, just gonna go a little right of Sean's ball and just kind of land something, basically front edge of the green. Holy thick rough, tumble. I mean, I landed at exactly where I was looking. I will take it. Look at that thing, that's just some that thing just like tangly rough right in front of Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, they mow the it back into you. Into yeah. the grain, it's tough. We're just barely off. We got a long putt, a little up the hill, left to right. Let's get the speed right, because uh, I've been on this hole for long enough. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta go a lot. This is sneaky a mess. Shaler's like 45 degrees to the right of my ball and he's in my line, basically. So, no, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, wicked fast putt. Um, yeah, it's gonna look crazy where I'm aiming, but hopefully I guess it right. That was the line, just needed less speed. Just a little less speed, which is kind of wicked, weird to think about, yeah, but. I mean, I it's okay. That's one you don't want to get aggressive with. As much as you love 15 footers for birdie to try to make, that's when you just take your part and leave. Well, unfortunately, on top of trying to make this putt, putt for bogey, it's kind of a weird putt. It's very subtle. I mean, I just feel like it moves a little bit left to right at the end, but maybe right to left at my feet. So I'm just going to play this pretty much straight. Oh, you freaking. You're kidding me. Dude, there's so much slope on this hole. I babied it. I freaking babied it. Nice little three putt, three putt double there, Quan. Real good. All right, I got 206 down to 200. I got a five iron. We're gonna kind of hit it a little three quarter. Hopefully, hit a better five iron than we did in the last part three. That's looking pretty good. Oh. Oh. A little slope right there. There is. I honestly like the way I hit that. I continue to struggle to guess what the wind's doing, and I think it's in two. So, all right, we got a chip at it, though. All right, and because of that, I'm gonna go full five iron. Yeah. Maybe like a slightly lower one. Come on, we gotta we gotta get this round back and back on right tracks here. Don't know how much better I can hit that. Swing, Juan. Here we go. What are the chances I make a two? All right, honestly, made a good swing. It just kind of guessed the wind wrong again. Um, $100 hole out, though. That's what we're going for. We need one. Somebody needs to break the ice here, make one. Okay, okay. Not bad for, uh, for a stroke play game, but I really want to make one, dude. Hit a good shot in here. You gotta to try to take advantage of it. Yeah. A little right to left down the hill. Greens are pure, so if I miss the putt, it's on me. Wow. 
If I left that putt short, I was gonna jump in that water. <laughs> okay, two holes in a row. <laughs> it's a good two though. Yep, that's a good hole there. Good okay. Pass. Gonna run away before that pops back up out of the hole. I thought that was lipping out for sure, but um, good nine, four under in the quest to break 65. We're off to a good start. All right, 10th hole here, uh, north course, that's a holly. I mean, this looks just as tight as hole one, pretty much. We're gonna go, go with the three iron. Can't even see where the fairway is, honestly, but I'm just gonna go right down the middle. In the wind. Then no divot. <laughs> 163 down to 156. Thankfully, hit a good uh, hit a good tee ball here, and uh, yeah, we're at four under right now. We gotta keep the pedal down. Here we go. All righty, Shaler, we found the fairway. Thankfully, uh, let's see if we can keep, keep our birdie streak going. I know it's only one, but 152 into the wind. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling like the soft eight, so I'm gonna go with, go with like a low nine. Stay. Oh, that could have been a lot worse. I thought it was gonna carry that uh, that little peninsula right there. I thought it was gonna go right in the water. It's all right, we're putting. All right, Shaler. Uh, thankfully, it didn't hit it in the water. It was really close. I was probably like three yards from doing that, but we got a kind of another subtle putt should be just barely left off my feet, and I think it's gonna straighten out. Sweet. Oh, good putt, right. I'll take it. All right, we kind of got a ticklish one, at least in the beginning. It's pretty down the hill. I want to put another good roll in it. I've been rolling it nice, and so the screens are so good, you just gotta start it online. You have to start it on the right line, not just the line. All right, coming up to hole 11. The front line, I feel like we had a lot of fade holes. We have finally got to the side, I think, that has a bunch of draw holes. And uh, this is one of them. We gotta basically hug the left tree, tree line. And uh, yeah, there's no cheating it. You have to draw it. Oh yeah, it is nice and toey. Cheater. I don't have to, uh, I hit the tree. Yeah, but I, I probably it'll come straight off. down. Yeah, I don't think it was really too far off. But All right. Yeah, it's a little left. All right. As Quan said, we're not necessarily the best drawers ever. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's any other option here. That was pretty good. Yeah. I'm good for one. If I have to draw it twice in a row, though, the second one's just going to be snapped. So. All right. Well. Unfortunately, click this tree. Uh, I mean, I got 278 adjusted, coming out of the rough, obviously. So, the lie is not too bad, though, that's the thing. So I think I can get maybe this five wood, if not on the green, maybe just short of the green, and I will be perfectly happy if it's just short. Even if, if I'm in that right bunker, it's, it's fine. Keep going. I honestly will take that. Not a bad spot where that is. All right, Shaler, we got 225 here, hit a great drive. Now I kind of got a little tree trouble from the middle of the fairway, which is always fun. Welcome to Sahali. I think I'm just gonna kind of cut my losses. I'm gonna try to hit a low draw. If, uh, if it scoots under that tree towards the pin, great. If it ends up just right of it, it's not a bad spot. All right, um, I feel great about that shot, so. See if we can go make another putt. Well, apparently this uh, there used to be a tree like right here, so I would have to like <laughs> hit like a bump and run through a bunker, which makes no sense. So this is uh, a little bit more generous. Got a good amount of green to work with though, so just got to pitch this ball up in the air, let it roll out close to the hole, hopefully birdie. That'll. <laughs> I just did that to get the red numbers again. 
Let's go. Hundred dollar hole out, Shaler. Wow, you're rich. Wow. Don't know what I'm gonna do with all this money. Yeah, don't go <laughs> spend it all in one place. That's right, exactly. He Seriously, he gets it. <laughs> Good job, go. buddy. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, when you guys said go in, I was like, how's that gonna go in? I thought it was low for sure. I don't it know. I kind of like really grabbed the left edge too and kind of like toilet bowled down yeah. in there. Yeah, <laughs> that was good awesome. from 10 feet out. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. one of those, you, as a competitor, I'm like, how's it gonna hopefully miss? Yeah. And it just wasn't going how's to. That not going in? All right, I've been inspired by Luke Kwan. What can I say? I have an eagle putt myself, and I would love to tie the hole with three here. Oh, I hit it too oh, firm. I hit it a little too firm for that line. Thanks, dude. Quan probably make me put these, but. All right. How does how does a birdie feel like a bogey on that hole? <laughs> After watching that guy, but all right, that's for me to get to five. I think Quan's at minus one, so he's still got a chance. I I like his chances. This kid's getting hot. All right. Coming up to hole 12 here, dude, these holes, man. <laughs> these holes are so tight right now. They're just trees lined up right and left. Just, I mean, it's framing up the hole nice, but goodness, this stuff is intimidating. It's gonna go with driver though. I mean, we're gonna just make this hole a mandatory driver, so. I love it, might as well. Oh, I hope I'm not good. Hang on. Be nice to me, tree. I didn't really hear a whole lot. I didn't either. Which is, I think, normally not a good sign. <laughs> I need some hard bounces right back in the fairway. All right, um, we want to go a little left to Quan. Golly, welcome to the hallway. If that bump is not reachable, it's good. Oh, I got a little left kick, I feel like. 126 up to 129. A pin looks like it's cut right pretty good. So we're gonna air a little bit to the left. Um, hit it about 130 with the pitcher watch. That is very caring. <laughs> All right, middle of the green, that won't kill us, but would love to see us get a little bit more aggressive with these wedges at some point. Oh, I'm in jail again. I got 110 in the trees. I do have a window though, so I can escape. I just gotta be careful of that right bunker, which I don't think I'll, I don't know, it shouldn't bounce right. So if anything, it should be kind of like middle of, the, middle of the green, left of the green, hopefully on the green. That's the goal. What? Oh. All right. Oh, all right. If there was a spot for me to miss it, it was short. Uh, yeah, this is not a great spot. I've got a little bit of a mound on the right side, which I'm gonna have to land it on. This ball is gonna get sent up there. It needs to land like a sack of potatoes. Too cute with it. Oh, Shaylin was just like jokingly saying back to back 100 a whole lot, but he's not wrong. You're not wrong, technically. I might chip this. Honestly, there's a massive just mound here. I was, I was trying to land on, but obviously ended up short. I have to kind of do the same thing. Chip it up there, trickle out. What are the chances this goes in again? That's tough. Uh, well, let's try that again. <sighs> I suck. Well, that's putt. literally the chip shot that we talk about, how we're so bad at it. I, I mean, I hated the putt too, though, so I was like, yeah. I'm f***ed either way. <laughs> so, I only laughed because I've done that so many times in my life, but... Anyway, we got a birdie putt, it's pretty quick. We'd love to see this one get hold. Yeah, that's good. Good speed, I mean, 30 feet. You should probably hit the wedge shot closer than that. <laughs> I'll tap that in for you. Tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> how am I feeling? <laughs> On course interview. I wanna, I wanna f I wish Tom Morris never existed. <laughs> Why do you make this stupid game? All right, coming up to hole 13 at Zahali. I, I, again, I don't even know if it's 13, it might be 14. But par three, uh, pins on the left side, so. I think we got a little bit of downwind that we cannot feel because we're in this little corridor of trees. 
I'm gonna go with the soft seven iron. I don't know, be good. Settle. Good number, I think. Yeah. So. Well, kind of high, I think. Yeah, good high. Now I need two birdies to bounce back again. <laughs> this, this is just a roller coaster round. That's horrific. That's horrific. You're trying to break 65 and you're hitting seven irons like that? Pretty fortunate, honestly, not to end up in the bunker here. This is kind of as straightforward of a pitch shot as you'll ever get. Just kind of get it rolling. I got a 55, keep it a little lower, let it roll a little bit more. How do you leave it short with $100 hole outs? I thought you did it for a second. I, kinda, I loved the line, I just didn't hit it hard enough, I guess. Got my putt for birdie. Devin, just clean my ball. Last time he cleaned my ball, made a birdie on a par three. So, see if it happens again. Right to left, pretty flat. Man, I really wanted that birdie, huh? Loved the line so much, I forgot about the speed. Yep. Ah, dang it. Need to make birdies. I want to get back to red figures again. We've been rolling it nice, so it's kind of going to start it on the right edge. Hope it moves a little bit to my left. All right, hanging out five under. Need to make a couple more. Probably what? What is it, par 72? So we're, yeah, we need three more at least. All right, coming up to 14. This is like a dog egg left par four. I don't think it's a driver on this hole. There's like a, funnily enough, there's like a, there's like a tree in front of the green. So we'll see when we get up there, but. Oh yeah, right there. I am doing great on the tree counter. All right, yeah, just a three iron, playing it safe. It's too, it's too right to left for me to hit driver, so. Yeah, I like that. All right, Shayla, if there's one hole where I couldn't hit left, it is probably this one. I am so screwed, I don't even know where to hit this ball. I mean, I'm trying to lay up and I don't even really know where to hit it, but I'm tempted to just try to hit a slinger pitching wedge, but out of the rough, probably not happen. Um, we got 136 adjusted back into the fan. Probably playing like 45, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit a little nine iron. Dude, we are not hitting it that solid right now. Oh no! Oh. What the? <laughs> oh no! Well, I just got Sahali. Well, you guys saw that tree in the middle of the fairway that, well, not really in the middle of the fairway, but Sean hit it. I couldn't get it too far left enough to like avoid the tree, so I'd rather be here than being in the fairway, like behind the tree. So I don't know, this is, this is not too bad of a spot. Just gotta get something up a little bit high, let it trickle out, just landing just, just where the green starts pretty much. Oh. All right, uh, after the not so great nine iron, we're in a good spot here, honestly, to get it up and down. We just gotta hit a good pitch shot. Got about 40 yards or so. Gosh, these fairways are so pure, no excuses. Wow, that broke a lot to the right, but it was a good pitch shot. Well, unfortunately it came up too short. I was trying to land it right there. Unfortunately, landed it like somewhere here. Uh, I just got a chip shot, just pretty much straight up the hill. Whoa. I think it came up hot. Give myself a chance to save par here. Pretty good pitch shot for me, especially. <laughs> Oh my snappy Magoo. That did turn a lot. I probably pulled it a little bit too, but all right, back to four. Now I really got my work cut out for me. You think like outside the hole, just barely? No. Yeah, I agree. But holy huge. That is that a weird, was that for bogey? Yeah. How did me and Sean just make the same score? I feel like I just played that hole terribly. <laughs> ah, it's all good. That's how golf is. Bogey for both of us. Unfortunately, this is a kind of a sneaky, sneaky, tricky hole. All right, coming into hole 15. I don't know. Are you guys tired of me saying that these holes are tight yet? 
I mean, look at what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, just it just forces you to kind of just hit the straight shot. Maybe just a little fade. Can't hug too far on the left side though, because there's a tree right off the tee box, unless you want to have a, uh, I don't know, 300 for your second shot. Golly, I just keep holding on to it. Dude, I'm getting so guidey. I don't know. It hit the right trees. Tree counter. Rack up another one. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of foliage. 152 from the wilderness. Supposedly can't be long at this one. So it seems like a staple of Sahali Country Club, but we're gonna get a little aggressive, honestly. Try to run it up and through these trees, a little left of that bunker, see if we can get a birdie putt. Oh, I hit a good one, but it's long and... According to Devin, that's death, so. I'm looking forward to this brutal chip shot. I think I hit one of these, well, definitely hit one of these trees. Uh, 154 flag, 136 to cover the bunker, so probably gonna go with a pitching wedge. As long as it doesn't fly like, it's not a like, huge flyer, I think I'm okay. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. If it goes, it's on. <laughs> Dude, it was short by like two yards. At least I'm in the flat part of the bunker. Apparently they just redid their bunkers pretty recently, so these are actually really looking nice, honestly. Pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah, Devin was right. This is an awful spot. I literally have to land it absolutely perfect and let's see what happens. We might as well go for it, I guess. Hit the pin. Oh! <laughs> Easy hole. $100 hole oh on, baby! My. <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh, yep. That's what Devin said. He said, hit it there so you can just chip it in and make 100 bucks back from my friend, Luke Horn. <laughs> we'll go ahead and nice. sprint off this hole because I'm not getting any luckier than that. <laughs> bird. Easy bird. What Easy is that, birdie, to get bro. you to five? That gets me back to five. Nice. We're in it. As I am just trying to just hold on to my dear life. It's actually moving quite a, quite a bit from a far foot here. Oh. Oh man. She, see, Sean's playing this game correctly. He's playing break 65. I am, don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was gonna say playing break 80. <laughs> All right, coming off birdie. We need three more. In order to break 65, uh, I think I'm invoking my mandatory driver on this one. That's what Devin suggested that I use this hole. Got to hit a high slice in order to hold the fairway, so. Well, I had to hit a high slice and did. I just, I feel like that's about five to seven yards too far right. All right, uh, I don't know. It looks like Sean hit a pretty solid one. I, I'm just gonna go with that bunker that you guys can barely see on the right side here. Hit it to where you... <laughs> Does it not go right at that tree? I just feel like that tree is like right in the line of the flight of the golf ball, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, obviously we made this a mandatory driver hole, but this is... I, I don't even know how my ball ended up here. Like we're on like a down slope. I feel like everything would have just collected right there. I don't know how we missed that tree. I mean, we're clearly... I mean, this is... <laughs> we're not playing the hole that we're supposed to, but... I got 76 yards adjusted, just kind of above my eye level, so I can't really see the bottom, bottom of the flag. 76, probably trying to land it. Let's try to land it 70. Oh, that's way too short. Stay. <laughs> I feel like when they have tournaments here, that could roll down. All right, Chandler, we got 68 yards. We obviously just saw Quan leave his a little short. It's tough off this down slope. We're just gonna try to land it about five paces short of the pin and hopefully it skips right up there nice and tight. Just a tough shot. These trees were kind of sketching me out a little bit, but it's okay. We got a birdie putt. Uh, I got a chip shot just kind of up and over this ridge. Shouldn't really be much of a de big deal. It's a little bit past this like sunspot on the green here. Oh, 
Yeah, that, that carried way too far. Dude, I am getting my butt kicked out here. Holy cow. Yeah, obviously you want to play good, some good golf at like a sick course like this, but I just, I appreciate the challenge, honestly. All right, we kind of had a tough angle there, but we got to make a birdie putt. So got to roll it in if we want a chance to break 65. Ooh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Man, thing moved, dude. Okay, I think we have a par five left. Is 18 an eagle opportunity? Yes. Okay, but we got a birdie 17. We want to have a chance. This is quite a lot. It's moving a lot left to right. I think it can be pretty quick here too, so. I mean, I want to try to make it, but I also don't want a whole lot left over after if I miss. I won't miss though. Don't worry about that. Mm, that was the line. Just meowed it. Stacking up them bogeys at this point. All right, 97.87. We're sitting at five under. Just a must birdie. It's a tough front left pin here. Um, we just gotta get it on the surface, give ourselves a chance to make a putt. so good I just guessed wrong it looks like it landed on a down slope too I'd play maybe like low 80s this looks pretty cool a little water short right of the green pin is uh what was it 182 you said yep. adjusted yeah um I think the wind should be just off the left so I'm gonna go with the seven iron maybe take a hair off of it I know you won't do it for me Shot, that looks pretty good from here. Oh my goodness, dude. That Did that almost go in? That was like a foot behind the hole. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, that like curled around. I thought the pin was like more in the front, but <sighs> I hope you're right. I just want to tap in. Dude, why didn't you just make it? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think that's like almost like a like a 50% increase in subscribers if you make a hole in one? Yeah, at least. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't know. I don't understand the YouTube math, but 42% says Devin. 42% increase. So what? What's 42% what's of a million? <laughs> How does this end up behind the hole? <laughs> a foot behind the hole. Dude, that was close. You got it it got me right? going a little bit. <laughs> I really thought you made it. Here, I'll just tap it out. Yeah. Tap it out or tap, tap it in? Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Get me off that bogey train. <laughs> Shayler, I don't even know if I make this putt if... I matched the shot that Quan just hit. Oh my gosh. We thought he was buying drinks. But anyway, it's got to go in. Oh, I thought I had a lot more right to left than that. All right. Par under the last. I need a deuce. All right, final hole out here. Uh, Dalvik right to left. This is, a, this is a par five. I think we're just gonna go right over this bunker on the left side. I hope it's carryable, I'm assuming. Right there. Somehow kick left and be okay. Ah. What can I say? I need a two. Better hit a good drive here. Right over the right edge of that left bunker would be very ideal. Perfect, love it. I got 234 stick. It's really in between clubs. Uh, I'm just gonna try to hit it just left of the pin. Hit a little little lower stinger that'll run up there with a the forehand. I think it's on the green. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of in the middle back. Take that. We got 230 flag, 215 cover. I, I don't know why, I just feel like the backside just looks better to be at, so we'll try to get over there. Holy, that came out so good. <laughs> How'd that come out so good? Based on Devin, I guess it's not long. You guys are right next to each other. Oh, really? Yeah, good shot. <laughs> was that Great swing, that was awesome. All right, putting contest? Yeah, show me the line, I don't right. know. My putt's not even worth anything, but... What? $10 make? Yeah, sure. $10 we'll make. All right. And you get the line. Wow. 
what a hand. deal what a deal well i guess this is this is for 65 so let's make it oh that looks pretty good it Ooh. stopped it stopped moving that was a good putt though that was a good putt i'll take that putt every day all right obviously saw the line from sean there it was a good playing from sean good solid day of golf i'm gonna try to hit that a little bit lower than sean just try to trust that it's gonna kind of straighten out their last five feet i mean i rammed it the right oh my monkey see monkey do sean hey let's go fun. do some more huh yeah Devin, yeah, thanks so much pleasure. for helping us out man yeah, absolutely. appreciate it a lot Oh man, well, that's gonna be it for uh, today's video out here at Sahali, the south and north course that they've played a bunch of championships at. Obviously, this place has had some really notable tournaments, Sahali Player Championships uh, for like the top amateurs and junior golfers. I think they've had a PGA Championship here too. I don't remember what year that is exactly. I'll put that on screen right now, but this has been on my list to uh, play for a while. And so it's been pretty cool to be able to play. Wish I played a little bit better, but hey, that's just how golf goes sometimes. 66 for Sean, so yeah, good saw the plane for him hopefully you guys enjoyed this really long video if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video i'm really appreciative of all of you guys make sure you give me a like it really helps me out if you guys do that if you're part of the 60 percent that are watching this video that are not subscribed what are y'all doing make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.